formatting a presentation. MS PowerPoint is a presentation software that helps you to make different types of presentations on any topic. The software has several options for making our presentation attractive and effective. Formatting refers to changing the appearance or presentation of text. It helps you to enhance the look of text. Using the formatting tools, you can change several parameters like font face, font size, font color, line or paragraph spacing, specifying alignments, applying bullets, etc. Slide Master In Microsoft PowerPoint, Slide Master controls all the information about theme, layout, background, color, fonts and positioning of all slides. To view the Slide Master, follow these steps. Click on the View tab. Go to the Master Views group and from there, select the Slide Master option. Slide Master of the current presentation will appear. You will observe that a Slide Master tab will appear on the ribbon and Slide Master task pane will appear on the left. The first slide of the Slide Master is a Slide Master and all related layout masters appear just below the Slide Master. If you make any change in Slide Master, all slides that follow it will also be changed accordingly. Now let's see how we can use the Slide Master to make changes in the presentation. To change the theme A theme is a predefined layout of the presentation. To change the theme, follow the given steps. First, click on the Slide Master. In the Edit Themes group, click Themes option. Now move the cursor over the theme menu. This will display live preview of the theme options. Click any theme option to apply it. To change the font. To view, select and change the font, follow these steps. Click Fonts option in the Edit Theme group on the Slide Master tab. Move cursor over the font menu to display live preview of the font option. Click any font option to apply it. Once you have made the necessary changes, it's time to close Slide Master. To close the Slide Master view, click the Close Master View option in the Close group. In PowerPoint, Slide Layout arranges all elements like title, subtitle, picture shapes, charts, movie clip, etc. PowerPoint provides you many built-in slide layouts such as title slide, title and content slide and section header to help you in creating good presentations. Once you are familiar with all the options available, you can use your own layout instead of selecting the built-in ones. This will make your presentations unique. Follow the given steps to insert custom layout in MS PowerPoint 2010. Click the Slide Master option in the Presentation Views group of the View tab. The Slide Master appears. Choose Insert Layout in the Edit Master group on the Slide Master tab. A new layout appears in the left pane. Click the Insert Placeholder option in the Master Layout group on the Slide Master tab. A listed placeholder will open. Choose any of the eight placeholder types. Click and drag the left mouse button on the slide to draw and place the placeholder. You can also add more placeholders to your custom slide. Changing Color Scheme In the program, there are different themes. Each theme includes built-in color schemes for your slides. If you don't like the available choices, 
you can create a custom color scheme for your slide. To create custom color scheme, follow the given steps. Click the color option in the themes group of the design tab. Select create new theme colors option from the list of colors that appears. Click the option for the color you want to change. Pick any color. Click on More Colors option for more standard and custom colors. Slide Background Rather than a plain background, you can select a personalized background so that your slides are different from all others. To customize slide background, go to Design tab ribbon and in the Background group, open the Format Background dialog box. To change the background color, follow the given steps. Click on the highlighted arrow. In the Format Background dialog box, there are many fill options available like Solid Fill, Gradient Fill, Picture or Texture Fill. Click on Solid Fill option and then select any color by clicking on Down arrow next to the color box. If you want to apply the changes to all the slides, click on Apply to All and then the Close button. If you just click the Close button, the background of only the current slide will be changed. Fill and Format Effects You can change the look of an inserted shape by changing its fill and by adding effects such as shadow, reflection and glow. Changing the fill color of a shape affects only the inside or front of the shape. Follow the given steps to add fill or effect on shape. Insert any shape or select previously drawn shape. On the Format tab, in the Shape Styles group, click the down arrow next to the Shape Fill option. In Shape Fill menu, you can see theme colors, standard colors and more options. Select any color you want to fill from the colors palette. To choose No Color, click on No Fill option. Any previously filled color will be replaced by No Color. To choose More Standard or Custom Colors, click on More Fill Colors option. To add a picture inside the shape, click on Picture option for the Shape Fill menu. Insert Picture dialog box will appear. Select any picture and click on Insert button. Your selected picture will appear in the shape. You can also add gradient to your shape using the gradient option from the Shape Fill menu. Select any variation to your shape from the list of variations that appears. You can also select more gradients from the more gradients option. To add texture, click on texture button from the menu. Different types of textures are available in the texture button. Select any texture to your shape. Indent Indentation is an important feature of MS PowerPoint 2010. Indenting will give different results depending on whether you are working with a paragraph or a list. In a list, indentation can be used to create multi-level list. In a paragraph, indenting in the first line of a paragraph using tab key creates a first line indent. Indent is used to separate paragraphs from each other. To indent a list, follow the given steps. Place the cursor at the beginning of the line. In this example, the list contains the different types of computer languages. Java, C++, Pascal, etc. are examples of high-level language. So, these should be under the high level language. Click the Increase List Level option in the Paragraph group on the Home tab. It will shift the content to the right side. You can also decrease the indent 
using decrease list level option if you want to decrease the spacing. Follow these steps to decrease the indent level of the list. Place the cursor on the text. Click on the decrease list level command in the paragraph group on the home tab. Spacing of the text will be erased. You can also modify indentation to enter a specific amount using the paragraph dialog box. To view this dialog box, click the small arrow in the bottom right corner of paragraph group on the home tab. You can enter specific measurements before text in before text box. You can also create a hanging indent. To create a hanging indent where second and subsequent lines of a paragraph are indented more than first line, click on Hanging in Special Box. If you want to only indent first line, then click on First Line in Special Box. Click on OK button to apply the indent. Slide Outline Slide outline displays the title and text content of the slides. Each title appears on the left side of the pane that contains the outline tab along with a slide icon and slide number. Follow the given steps to create presentation and outline view. Open an existing presentation. Click on outline tab next to the slides tab. Move the cursor to the end of the text of first slide and press enter key. New slide will be added. Similarly, we can add more slides in the presentation. You can also edit these slides. To add text in the first slide in the outline view, follow the steps. Right click anywhere in outline pane. Right click context menu appears. Select Demote option from the menu. Type the text on first slide. If you want to hide the text on the slide, select Collapse option to hide the bulleted text relevant to the selected slide. The Collapse option is found in the Context menu which appears after right-clicking on Outline tab. You can hide bulleted text of entire presentation by clicking Collapse All option from the Collapse sub-menu. To see the text on the slide again, select Expand option to show the hidden bulleted text of a slide or select Expand All to show text of all the slides. To add a new slide, click on New Slide option from the menu and to delete a slide, Click on Delete Slide option from the menu.